Hello friends, welcome to channel. In this video, we are going to discuss SL Aspire 5 laptop that comes with the promising hardware such as 12th generation Intel CPU and RTX 2050 GPU. This makes the users confused either to buy this laptop or not, especially students who are also willing to play games and also wants to do professional work. But no worries because in this video, we are going to discuss everything about this laptop that will help you to take firm decision either to buy this or not. Just watch the video till the end and do not miss the conclusion part as well. So let's begin with the video. But before that request you to subscribe to this channel and all links are in description. You can check out after watching this video. If you want to further support this channel, you can definitely buy from those links. It really help us to bring this kind of content on a regular basis. Now without wasting time, let's start with the performance of this laptop. Now when it comes to performance, we have to first discuss about the processor. Now this laptop is powered by 12th generation Intel Core i5 1240P processor. This processor is designed with 12 cores and 16 threads and it has a 28 watts TDP. Now 12 cores and 16 threads means you will be able to do all the tasks in this laptop like video editing, like uh, photo editing, these all tasks you will be able to do easily. If you want to use it for programming, coding, you can use it easily. In fact, it's single core performance also fantastic. You can play games also, the games like Fortnite, GTA 5, these games also playable on this laptop. Now it's not a full-fledged gaming processor because gaming processor is made with the 45 watts TDP in the gaming laptops and it's not also a very low level processor because low level processor is made with the 15 watts TDP. It stands between them so it's a mid-level processor that is usable for most of the tasks easily and 12 cores and 16 threads make sure you can do a multitasking easily on this laptop. Considering the pricing of this laptop, this laptop available around 600 to 620 dollars makes it the best value for money laptop when it comes to processor. Now let's talk about the graphics card. It has a NVIDIA RTX 2050 graphics card with 4GB video card memory. You won't be able to uh, enjoy the ray tracing on this but yes you can enjoy the DLSS support. Now this graphics card we have compared with GTX 1650 that has 50 watts TGP and this RTX 2050 has 35 watts TGP. Now definitely GTX 1650 performing better than RTX 2050. That that is because GTX 1650 have a 50 watts CGP, but performance gap was no, very minimal. Now question is, is it really worth it to buy RTX 2050? So honestly, uh, if you are an entry level gamer, casual gamer and your main aim is, main focus is to work professionally and your secondary goal is to play casual gaming, sometimes you play games then it's definitely worth it because it is available around 600 to 620 dollars online and most of the dedicated gaming laptop even an entry level gaming laptop that has gtx 1650 uh, available above 650 dollars or even 690 dollars if you want rtx 3050 you have to spend above 750 dollars so now let's discuss about the ram and storage capacity now this laptop is integrated with 8 gb ddr4 ram now good thing is there are dual channel ram support and it has occupied with 4GB RAM each which is great and you will be able to enjoy gaming as well but I would suggest you to upgrade the RAM up to 16GB for that you have to remove both the RAMs and put 8GB each it will give you a better performance in video editing in programming and in fact in gaming as well it has a 512GB NVMe SSD which also boosts the laptop quickly and also loads the application faster. Also you can upgrade the storage capacity up to 1TB SSD easily which is a great in this budget. Now let's discuss the display size and the quality of the laptop. Now it has a 15.6 inches full HD IPS display, 45% NTSC, 215 nits brightness which is decent in under the budget and it has a 60Hz refresh rate. Let's talk about this display from a gaming point of view. Now this laptop has a 60 hertz refresh rate which means it is fine for story based games but it is not at all suitable for esports game or triple A titles. But yes if you are a casual gamer it is pretty much fine for you but yes if you are a, if you are a serious gamer it is not suitable for you as at least 120 hertz refresh rate is must for gaming. Now let's talk about the color accuracy of this laptop. This laptop has a 45% NTSC which means it is not going to give you a color accurate uh, uh, images or visuals on this laptop. 
which is acceptable under the budget but if you are a graphic designer or a professional video uh, photo editor then i will suggest you to use a external monitor or look out for a laptop that has a accurate color screen monitor whereas 215 nits brightness is decent in this budget now let's talk about the cooling technology of the laptop this is specially important if you are looking for a laptop for gaming as well now considering a laptop purpose because it is more of a professional laptop rather than a gaming laptop so the cooling technology of the laptop is good so yes cooling technology is good considering a purpose of this laptop but if you are considering this laptop for full fledged gaming then it is not a very high level of cooling technology which you found in a dedicated gaming laptop now let's talk about the speaker quality of the laptop the speaker quality of the laptop is decent not that loud which is average i would say and the webcam quality is decent usable for online meetings and all you cannot expect to get a very high level of webcam under the budget but yes it is usable now let's talk about the look and a design and a build quality of the laptop the look of the laptop is pretty average i'm not very impressed with with the look of the laptop whereas the side bezels are little thicker than you found in other laptops and the build quality of the laptop is also decent there is a little uh, flex at the top lid but it is at the acceptable level and keyboard also works fine you get full fledged keyboard there are numpad as well which is great under the budget and uh, the keyboard also works fine the keys are very responsive there is not much issue of the keys as well what is the conclusion of this laptop so this is not a full fledged gaming laptop neither a very low level laptop so it is somewhere around a thin and lightweight laptop this laptop is suitable for those who are looking for a laptop for a professional use like video editing photo editing and other works like programming coding as well whereas if you are looking for a full fledged gaming laptop then definitely this is not for you this is suitable for casual gaming so yes if your budget is around 600 to 620 dollars it's definitely worth it but if your budget is above 650 dollars or 700 dollars then i would definitely suggest you to go with the dedicated gaming laptop if your aim is to play games as well at high settings so this is it hope you like this video if yes then hit the like button share with your friends and yes if you have any doubt put in the comment box we will definitely reply you back thank you so much for watching this video and see you in the next video